Welcome back to another episode of EDC with me and today I am going to do an update on my EDC. So just kind of a quick pocket dump. It's been a while since I've done an update on what I've been carrying. And I'm going to start off with the wallet. Uh, I have been carrying a Trayvax Summit for quite some time, maybe two years now. I do like this. Uh, overall, nice and small. It does have a bit of weight to it, and since we're in the summer months now, I kind of prefer the fabric feel of the Chums wallet. They're like 10 bucks on Amazon. I've had this one for years. Um, very durable. It's lasted lasted quite a while, so kind of happy to go back to this. I also still carry a Go Comb by Go Comb at maybe 10 bucks on Amazon. I've got a Maxpedition Key Keeper here. Uh, this is a bit overkill uh, as far as the build quality goes, but uh, does the job. It's great. Uh, super happy with it. Uh, since I've been stuck at home, I've been carrying a fixed blade, and that fixed blade has been the Gerber Strongarm. Uh, so for the most part, I carry this around the house when I go on walks. I've done a bit of uh, woodwork with it. Overall, super happy with this thing. Uh, not something I would normally carry every day, but with uh, with the staying at home, it's it's made its way into the rotation, I guess, is the best way to say that. Uh, on knives, I'm still carrying the Ruger by C, uh, the CRKT2 stage, uh, which is also uh, Ruger's involved in this, or was, I should say. I think this was 2015, 2016 when this came out. Uh, just overall great size uh, pocket knife, quite large. You can see it here compared to the Gerber. It's uh, almost identical in size, believe it or not. That's crazy. Uh, folds up, nice and convenient. I've done some modifications on some of the aluminum edges. The aluminum is kind of slippery, so I've added some grip to it. Uh, some grip on the steel side, too. Very happy with this knife. This thing's going to stay stay in the pocket for a long, long time, I think. I've, it's probably been in there for about a year as of now. Uh, for fire, I'm carrying a Zippo. And pretty cool design here. Uh, I did have some issues with gas off, uh, so I switched it over to butane. This insert is uh, Zippo as well. Seems to retain much better. I've had no issues uh, with unexpectedly running out of uh, fuel. So very happy with this. Uh, there's a good argument to just carry a small Bic. Uh, gets the job done. This just looks a little bit nicer. Uh, I also carry the A23 on me. This is Rovivon. Uh, I believe this probably runs 40 bucks online if I remember right. I did some customizing to the clip. I uh, just threw it on my stove top to darken it a little bit. And yeah, this thing's great. I've charged it maybe two times, three times since December. It's got a nice deep carry pocket clip. Uh, great. Love this thing. Uh, rechargeable as well. I think there's some waterproof rating on it. I also started to carry, this is kind of a new idea, a uh, coin. So it's kind of, uh, you could use it as a tool if you needed to. There could be some screws maybe that that would fit into. I don't know if this is an actual coin that someone modified, but I believe it was maybe 10 bucks on Amazon. But the reason why I carry this, besides it just being fun to fiddle around with and uh, use in that way is it's kind of a good way to make a decision if you've got one or more parties that are undecided or you yourself just want to make if you can't make a decision this will get you there uh, I also carry the Gerber dime I've been carrying this for some time I tried to use a Victoria Knox for a bit I still like it, but the dime having the pliers in it is a big win to me, so I, I continue to use the dime. Uh, I've also got a telescoping uh, pen by, I think it's True Utility, if I remember right. Uh, true, Yeah, True Utility, good little pen. And this is all carried on 
uh, this pocket clip, and I think this is smart key. Yes, key smart, rather. Uh, this pocket clip's great. I probably should invest in a few more. I've got a few other pieces of equipment that I could probably use that with. That's uh, a great find. Amazon, I believe we're looking at eight bucks. Dimes are about 20 bucks. Uh, the pen I got a long time ago. I, I do not recall what, what that guy was. Uh, I still carry a handkerchief or handkerchief. Uh, this is just from uh, like a five pack for 10 bucks, 10, 15 bucks on Amazon. Uh, always nice to have on you. I also, I used to carry the Minimalist as a fixed blade in my pocket. I just like the idea of having a fixed bladed knife on me at all times. I ended up not liking it so much and it, it retired itself for probably about a year. Uh, in the last two months, I've started to wear this as a neck knife. And I gotta say, I pull this out for quick, just utility cut tasks, probably three times a day. This is kind of my go-to. I've always got it on me. Nice and simple. The sheath rigidity is great. Uh, if you've got light shorts, you can still carry this. I'm super happy with this. Uh, I even bought another version that I don't like as much as this drop point. Uh, so this guy's kind of the really the go-to for me, and I'll continue to wear that for a long, long time. So there it is, guys. I did a video about my uh, EDC in under seven minutes. About to hit seven minutes. That's impressive in itself. If you like these kind of updates or the content that I have on some of my videos... Uh, please do a like, please subscribe. Uh, I'm not looking for any kickback on any of the product. Uh, what I really would like to do is just simply help people decide when they're looking. Uh, I find a lot of value in YouTube when it when I'm trying to you know figure out if there's a product out there that I like, if it really holds up. Uh, the, one of the first things I do is I jump onto YouTube and watch other people's content about the product. And this is kind of my way of giving back to those folks who have helped me with their videos. Um, you know, for example, the Gerber up here uh, came about for me because of Gideon's Tactical. I probably would have never looked at a Gerber fixed blade. I'm not a huge Gerber fan, even though I have the dime. Uh, so just stuff like that. Just videos out there. It's helped me a lot. I want to be able to do the same. And... Uh, it's great to, to if you like I said, if you leave a like, it's great to know that people are watching and, and they enjoy the content. Thanks, guys.